Let's work 22. Solve quadratic equations. So we see all those are quadratic y because we see x squared here. So if we could factor, we still prefer to factor. So let's see the first one. So the first one, we have two x squared minus a x plus a equals zero. So we see two is a common factor of three terms or four terms. Okay? So we divide by two. So when we divide by two, we get x squared minus four x plus four equals zero, because zero divided by four is still zero. And this can be factored as perfect square. x minus two square equals zero. And so we have one solution, x minus two equals zero, is x equals to two. So one solution, right? If we talk about functions, we could talk about function of f of x equals to two x squared minus a x plus eight. Then we can talk about the graph. The graph, so we can factor this as two. So we have if x is zero, the y-intercept, then we get it. A. So zero comma a is a point. Then we have, so this is our y-intercept. Then x equal two, let's say two is somewhere here. So our graph will be looking like something like this. It touches x-axis at the two, only touches it, it doesn't cross x-axis. So that means we have one solution. The second one we also can factor. We can factor as x minus three, x minus one equals zero. So we get two solutions, x equals three and one. If we graph this one, that means x cross x, x is twice. Three, we can also factor, let me write on this side, we can factor as two x minus one squared equals zero. Then that means two x minus one is zero. So x equals to the half. One solution again, because it's a perfect square. Or we see the two factors are the same. This one also can be factored, right? Three x minus one and x minus two. Because three x times negative two, negative six x, negative one times x, negative one x, adding together, that gets out negative seven x. So then the first one give us x equal to one third as a solution. Second one give us x equal to two as a solution, so two solutions. But this one, five, cannot be factored, right? Because one can be factored as a negative one, negative one, but negative one plus negative one would be negative two. We don't have negative two x there. So we want to use quadratic formula. So figure out a equals to one, b equals to negative one, C equals one. So quadratic formula is seeing the solution for the equation is negative negative one, positive one plus minus square root of negative one square, which is one minus four times A times one times C minus one. So it's just one minus four. Divide by two times A, A is one. So that equals one, so one half plus minus well, square root of one minus four is the square root of negative three. Square root of negative three is i square root of three divided by two. So we have two complex solutions. So six also cannot be factored. So we also want to use the quadratic formula. A equals to two, B equals to one, C equals to three. So the solution, to the equation is negative one plus minus square root of one square is one minus four times two, eight, eight times three, 24. Divided by two times two, which is four. So we get negative one quarter plus minus one minus 24, that's square root of negative 23. That's I square root of 23 
divided by four. So two complex solution. Well, let's see seven, difference of two squares. Or we could do this. We move negative 16 to other side. Then we square root both sides. Right, so we'll get x equals to positive square root 16 with positive four. Negative square root 16, negative four. So we'll get a positive negative four, positive four, negative four, two solutions. Number eight, we divide by two first. When we divide by two, we'll get x squared minus 25 equals zero. We do the same thing, x squared equals 25. We square root both sides, we'll get x equals a positive five, negative five, two values. Nine, we have seven x squared minus x plus five equals zero. So no, cannot be affected. Right. So let's do over here. A is seven. B is negative one, C is five. So the solution to the equation is negative B, negative negative one, which is a positive one, plus or minus, square root of negative one squared is one, minus four times A, which is seven, times C, which is a five, all divided by two times seven, because A is seven. Then that equals one over two times seven is 14, plus or minus, or four times seven, let's do four times five first, the 20. 20 times seven is one minus 140, which is i square root of 139 divided by 14. So we also get two complex solutions. All right, the rest of the two questions, I want you to practice something called completing squares. So let's see 10. All right, we want to complete these squares. First, we want to move three to the other side. You got x minus x squared minus x equals negative three. Or the number before x is negative one. So negative one divided by two is a negative one, negative half. So we square, we get a one quarter. So we plus one quarter on this side, we plus one quarter on the other side. Then we get an X minus half square equals to negative three plus quarter. Well, negative three is a negative two minus one, then plus quarter. Negative one plus quarter, negative three quarters, right? So I have negative two minus three quarters. Well, two, we can change to be a divided by four. So that's negative 11 over four. Then we square root both sides. Square root both sides, we get x minus half equals to, or well, square root of negative one give us i. Square root of 11, square root of four is two. So then we move negative half to the other side, plus half. So get two complex solutions, half plus minus, well, of course, when we square root, we get plus minus two values, i square root of 11 over two, two complex solutions. So let's see this one. You may try a quadratic formula. You should get the two same solutions. Let's try this one. This one, we want to factor out three, right? So get an x squared plus a four x, we move negative seven to the other side, becomes positive seven. So we divide by three on both sides, we get an x squared plus a four x equals a seven over three. Now four divided by two, four divided by two is two. Two squared is four. So we add a four on this side, we add a four on this side. Add a four on this side, this three makes a perfect squared, x plus two squared equals to four is 12 over three. So 12 plus seven, 19, 19 over three. Square root both sides, x plus two equals to plus minus square root of 19 over three. Then minus two on both sides, so we've got a negative two plus or minus square root of 19 over three. And then also you may try using quadratic formula, you should get the same answer. 